I'm Lukurgos from Disney Club Greece, Hi. and uh, you have a very huge crowd uh, loving you in Greece. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's very nice. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to ask uh, something from your lyrics. Uh, we have the song, Be- uh, I was born to make you happy, where we can hear you saying that, uh, I don't know how to live without your love, I was born to make you happy. Now we have, oops, I did it again, I played with your heart. Which lyrics do you think best describes yourself? Thank you. Um, actually, probably Born to Make You Happy. You know what? Oops, I did it again. I love singing this song, but the words lyrically I can't really relate to at all because it's talking about a girl and all these guys are falling for her and she's breaking their hearts. And when I fall for a guy, it's the other way around. <laughs> He usually ends up breaking my heart. But it's a fun song to sing. You know, I'm a performer and that's part of what I do, you know. So- Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. Girl, you're probably wondering, Sebastian, what's happening? Well, listen, we are starting our Halloween extravaganza. So for the next uh, week or so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and bring out all the stops, honey. So today I am, of course, Mary from Hocus Pocus. So that's what you're, that's the character you're getting today in the videos, girl. And we are back in the closet because I thought, you know what? We need a sparkly place where I can, you know, do my magic, bitch. Um, so yeah, we have to, we have to, listen, girl, life is already crazy enough, girl. We got to put a little bit of laughter in it. So if I can make you laugh by looking a mess then it is what it is bitch so grab a snack and a drink hit that subscribe button and remember it's just a bunch of hocus pocus winnie i smell children okay so listen we gotta talk we gotta talk about justin timberlake because more uh really nasty nasty details are coming out i'm gonna tell you guys something okay And I'm going to be very straightforward to you, 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 and you. I I think that um, Justin, at this point in time, I really think that he should say something. I definitely do. I think that it's time for him to say something. I think it's time for him to 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 talk about what's, you know, what's being out there. And I think that the only thing he should do is just, hey, I apologize. You know what I mean? He's never offered Britney a public apology. He offered Janet Jackson one, which she very well deserved. And I also think that Britney Spears deserves an apology from him. Um, so if you guys don't know, while she was on set of the iconic, overprotected, dark child remix video which is such one of the most iconic freaking videos and it has the most one of the most iconic dance breaks you know um she received a text message from justin timberlake breaking up with her mid video okay mid video girl she hadn't even finished the damn video right so the director of that video recalls that moment and uh his name is chris applebaum and chris applebaum recalls the two words that Justin Timberlake wrote to Britney, the text message she received. It was just two words of him breaking up. And you know what those two words were? It's over. That's it. It's over. It's over. I smell a coward. It's over. That's all. That's all he said, girl. That is all he said, okay? And uh, the director also tells Page Six that he encouraged Britney to finish filming the video. Um, he says that he recalls telling Britney, show him that he just made the biggest mistake of his life. And Britney responded, I'm going to show him that he let go of the best thing he ever had. And then she went on to film this iconic scene of the of, of you know overprotected i mean listen this was this was mid breakup she literally received a message right in the middle of this you guys like i i i cannot even begin to comprehend how incredibly upset she might have been how incredibly uh devastated she was you know what i mean like i i feel in my heart that britney she deserves a fucking like the grammys or whatever they need to go back in time and give her some some fucking uh um uh, trophy for that because damn you know um listen I, i the more and more we find out about justin timberlake the more i'm just like oh you know it just gives me a bad taste in my mouth honey it's you know i don't like mushrooms i hate mushrooms bitch 
And I have the same feeling it when I think about mushrooms, I think about Justin Timberlake. Here's the thing, and listen, I'm seeing comments like they were in their teens, they're 19, 20. Yes, I understand all of that. But when you know that someone went through so much, okay, and you haven't taken the time to really fully apologize or really give them their respect or their flowers, you know what I mean? Do it, Justin. Be a real man, okay? Do it, okay? Because I think it's insane that you are literally just staying silent and not saying a word, you know? And I think that as his wife, Seventh Heaven Girl, she should tell him like, hey, you know what? You were a fucking asshole. You fucking messed up. Apologize to Britney publicly. Apologize to her. And that's it, you know? So anyways, girl, I don't know, bitch. I, this is just giving very much. If two plus two is four and five plus five is 10, what the fuck is this? I would have, I would have, I'm telling you guys something, okay? If my first love broke up with me over a text message and it said it's over and I was in the middle of a video photo, a video shoot or wherever the fuck I was in the middle of, bitch, I would be like, <laughs> I'll be right back, girl. I would go to CVS. I'd get two gallons of fucking ice cream with uh, Hershey's syrup, okay? A little nuts, little pecans little protein you know to put on top of the ice cream i get some chips because you know after too much sweet i need something salty then i get some frozen pizzas then i'll do some uber eats of mcdonald's and i would in literally encave myself in the room okay and fucking just binge eat and watch like all the seasons of you know sabrina the teenage witch like i'm not playing around bitch the fact that she stayed there looked the way she did and took her anger and her sadness and her shock into her art really tells you what kind of professional she was and that's 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 it i mean and she was literally 19 years old boo 19 years old what how, what how, what what would you have done at 19 years old girl <laughs> i think a breakdown you know what i mean like for real i really think that that's what that's what would have happened like damn um no listen uh, justin timberlake is uh, it's just he's just coming off so i mean there's just so so much messiness coming out and and the thing is i think the people i mean had okay oh i wanted to say this oh girl you know maybe this week helps me think remember when you remember remember when you remember stand back the punishment shall not be to die, but live forever with his guilt. As what, Winnie? As what? Dumb back. Twist the bones and bend the backs. Did the copper to Malika Mexican bring him of his baby back? Did the copper to Malika Mexican give him the blackest back just like this? Anyways, girl, listen. I have to tell you guys something. Had all this information come out 20 years ago, nobody would be talking about it today, right? But because she was never able to tell her story, okay, this is why she is coming out with it now. And I'm saying this in every single fucking video, and I don't care if I sound like a damn repeating parrot, okay? She was silenced, therefore she could not tell her side of the story. Do we comprehend, okay? Um, so, you know, it's time for her to do it, okay? And, you know, Justin Timberlake said it best, you know, what goes around comes around and it's gonna be you. It's gonna be my, you know what I mean, girl? It is just, it is what it is, girl. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. I am so excited and grateful and thankful that you guys are just such a support and you're supporting my videos just thank you so much for all the love i truly don't take it for granted i just really want to say thank you and i love you all very much thank you to everyone who's subscribing and um i'm so excited because tuesday the book comes out girl tuesday the book comes out and i am so fucking excited anyways i have some co i'm not gonna dress in costumes every day but i i i felt you know i i, I found uh, we you know decorated a little bit and i found all my halloween stuff and i was like girl you know what i think it's time to to maybe next uh the next time you see me i'm gonna be one of these two so check it out girl um but anyways i love you all very much thank you so much for watching and remember it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. <gasps> Winnie, I spell children. <laughs>